Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to your daily tarot reading for Thursday, February 20th, 2020. Let's get these cards shuffled up, and let's see what's going on. Hopefully, you guys have had a good week. I know yesterday was a bit of a challenge for um, everyone as far as the energy goes. I'm hopeful that uh, you took some advice and some strategies away from the reading yesterday and decided not to engage where you didn't have to engage. And where you did have to engage, I hope you kept it limited, thoughtful, and above um, everybody else's, taking that high road, so to speak. So let's see what we have going on for today, being Thursday, almost the end of the week for most everybody. Let's see what we have. So let's get this first pile down. This second pile. And finally now, this last pile. And let's see, where do we want to go today? I'm kind of feeling this first pile, so let's see what we have going on, right? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands. Let's talk a bit about the Ace of Wands. Minor Arcana card, as we talked about um, earlier this week, anytime we see the Ace, it's about a fresh new idea, fresh new start, fresh new thought, or um, just really thinking about the idea for that fresh new beginning. So when we look at the Ace of Wands, let's come up with some key words that maybe we, we, we may want to think about. Um, so, Physically starting something, of course, really getting out there and maybe starting a project around the house, starting the, the cleanup um, for spring, starting a new project at work, but physically getting started. It can also be um, using your uh, creative um, side. Maybe you get a creative spot going on, something you want to try differently. Maybe it's a new video game that you want to break out and start off with, um, a new series that just came out. Uh, maybe it's a new series on Netflix you want to start. So any type of creativity from that standpoint. Um, it could be finding your new passion, whether it be with a person or whether it be with an activity. Um, but a long story short, it's all about enthusiasm. It's all about seeing a challenge and accepting it. It's all about growth, action. Um, it can be about travel as well, but it's definitely about excitement. It's definitely about getting into it, getting into the game, getting fired up, um, spontaneity. Um, no matter what it is you're going to try to do, you're seeing the fun in it, and you're just starting off. It's about excitement. So when we look at it from a general uh, meaning, what we want to look at is just that. It's all about physically starting something, about being excited about the news, this new initiative, this new project. It's about finding that spark, finding that passion, and just really getting up and into it. And as I said before, that can be a creative aspect. It can be utilizing some potential talents that you have. And it could be about just... Um, saying, you know what, I'm just going to start looking at these things in my life differently, take out a new lease on it, and just have some fun with it for a change, rather than making it into a day-to-day -day doldrum. Now, from a love and relationship standpoint, it can be about finding that new passion, that new person that's bringing a little spark into your life, so to speak. If it's um, someone that you're already in a relationship with, uh, married to, or a significant other, it's all about going out and doing some stuff together to rekindle that spark, to get things going. This can also be about pregnancy and having a baby. So for those of you do, that are not looking for starting a family, you want, may want to take extra precautions. For those of you looking to start a family, this is the time to really get into it. So um, spark that passion as well. Um, long story short, it's all about just being fired up, being excited, and doing stuff that really puts a smile on your soul, that really does make you happy. Now, from a money and a career standpoint, this can be about walking in with a new energy, um, taking on some new tasks and new roles with an, some enthusiasm, but it can also be about working with the people that you really enjoy working around and being enthusiastic about um, the work um, that you're going to be going through for the next uh, eight hours. I know personally for me, this is my Thursday. This card couldn't fit me any better because my Thursday shift on um, work is probably one of my most favorite shifts of all because everyone that's on that shift are all my absolute favorites to work with. So 
We usually have a great time. We usually really, 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 really effective at our job. And the long story short is we just do everything automated because we don't even have to talk about what we're doing because we're so well connected. And so I'm hoping that this is part of what you're going to find today with your work. Um, now, all that being said, when we take home the um, notes for this and how we want to approach our day, it's all about enthusiasm. It's all about um, having that winning attitude. Even if you're going to go into some stuff that's going to be a bit of a challenge for you, it's all about the attitude that you bring with you to get into that. But a long story short, it's all about um, the Ace of Wands being a new lease on life, enthusiasm, being happy, going into stuff and starting new projects uh, with that sense of enthusiasm. And in relationships, it's about finding that passion or recreating that spark and um, getting back into that passion that you have for that person that you're with. So long story short, it's a pretty cool card for a Thursday. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. Until then, be safe, be well, and be blessed.